Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Larry Snow and in today's video we're going to be exploring the MailChimp journeys. Yes, we're going to go on a journey and it's starting now. What do the journeys mean versus classic automation? Well, the journeys are exactly what the name says. It's a roadmap. It's a visual roadmap that allows you to plan out your roadmap for your subscribers when they join your list, if that's one of the starting points that you want to choose. So in this video, we're gonna, I'm going to walk you through a basic sign up feature. We're going to add a tag. We're going to send an email. We're going to wait. We're going to do an if else. It's going to be a lot of fun. So let's get started. To get to the journeys, you click on this little root thing here, this little roadmap where it says, and you mouse over, it says automations. You click on that and it will take you to their explore tab. And to create a new journey, you click on the green create button and click on customer journey. We'll call this, hey there, testing. Make sure you select the appropriate list if you have more than one and click on start building. Immediately, you're going to be asked to choose a starting point and they'll start you off on the popular tab. You can go in through this different menu and find the ones that you're looking for. So if it's shopping activity, marketing activity and API and integrations. So we're going to start with signs up and it's giving you some ideas here. Welcome new signups, introduce your brand, turn new contacts into new customers. So let's click on that. It's going to ask you if you want to include important con imported contacts. And from here, we're just going to click on save starting point. Now you can have more than one starting point for this journey. And you can also apply filters for your starting point. So you can say contacts from a custom segment. You can allow contacts who match your starting point condition and your filter, or you could say no filters. We'll just keep it at no filters for now. Click save. Now the plus button here is indicating for you that you need to add something here. What do you want to happen once a person signs up for that audience? Your choices here are rules or actions. For this demonstration, I think we want to add a tag. So let's click that. So now we've applied this new option here. So when a person signs up, it will either get a tag or remove a tag. So let's click on that box. So we're going to add the tag ebook. And then the action here is to add or remove. We will add it and we will click save. So I'm putting in that tag because the next step here is to send an email with the ebook that they signed up to receive. Okay. So we've had at sign up, they get a tag called ebook. And now they're going to be sent an email. So we'll click on send email and it's asking where do you want to apply this email before the tag or after the tag? Well, we want to apply it after the tag. So we'll click on the plus button and now we have to go and format the email. We'll click on the box, get email and it's setting up the creative assistant or we can select a template or use a previous campaign as a template. We're going to use a previous campaign. We're going to use the fab free giveaway download. And then we're going to edit our email. Now, because I've already used this before, there's not much uh, in the design wise I, I want to do here because this is just a demonstration. So you get the idea. Here's your fab freebie. I got a little giphy in there, some information, and then the button that goes to the PDF for a person to download. Okay. So we're going to click on up here in the top right, save and return to workflow. So, so far we've set up a journey and the journey starting point is whenever a person signs up for this particular email list, they will get a tag called ebook and they'll be immediately sent an email with a button to download the ebook. So far, so good. Now, what we could do now is, well, let's put in an if else, and I'll show you what that does. So we'll click on if else. Again, it's going to ask you, where do you want it? So you click on the plus and we have to uh, move our mouse up here a little bit, gra drag it up a little bit so we can see. And this is going to be a condition. So let's click on add a condition. Now, a while ago, I did a video on 
MailChimp segments and how to set them up and what they do. And if you remember, I described it as if else. It's an if else filter. Well, that's what this is exactly doing, if else. So if this matches this, then do this, okay? So what we wanna do here is say, well, if they opened the last email with the download freebie, then we'll send them another email, maybe after a few days. So let's set this up. Our condition is campaign activity. We wanna make sure that they opened it and the campaign that we're looking for is the fab freebie giveaway download, okay? And you can add in more than one condition or you can do any or all. Click save. Now what happens is it's a yes or no. Did they open it up? Then do this. If they didn't, then send something else. So let's just do one more. So let's put in a delay. It's asking you where you want it. We'll click this plus button here. Delayed for a week, but we could change that. But we'll keep it one week. Click save. And then we'll send another email. And we'll click the plus button down here. Okay, and I'm not gonna go into any more detail than that, but you get the idea. It's, it's really about planning out a roadmap, hence the name Journey, for your subscribers. A couple other things to point out. If you look down here in the bottom left, it says view your Journey settings, so let's click on that. So it gives you the name where you can change it, and it gives you a marketing objective. So is it nurture relationships, style stuff, drive audience, etc. So you might want to pick that to track your marketing objective. And we'll do drive audience actions. And you have the option here whether or not you want a contact to repeat the journey. And you can manually add a person to your contact's journey or you can remove the contact from your journey map. Okay, we'll save that. To the left of view your journeys is another option here to reset the zoom or to plus and minus in on your journey. So if we click minus, it zooms it out so we can see all of the steps in our journey or you could zoom in and reset the zoom. And at this point, your last step is to actually turn on your journey or if you'd like to finish later, you click the X, save and close. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button. And if you're new here and you enjoy this type of content, click the subscribe button as well as that bell notification so you get notified when a new video goes up on the channel. Thanks, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.